right over to Peyton. What are we seeing in this latest update? Uh, no significant changes here. We still got a category one as of 10 a.m. It is strengthening though, although the winds haven't changed, it's strengthening. Sometimes the winds have to catch up to that strengthening process. Uh, gust 105, so that's a little bit higher. Moving northwest, the same speed, 16 miles an hour. It's now 350 miles southeast of the mouth of the river. Pressure down to 984 millibars. All right, here's the latest track. We continue to have it strengthening as we go through today. We have it as a major hurricane by this afternoon or evening, and then here's the landfall by tomorrow evening as a major category four hurricane. If you've been watching, they did have it at 140. We have it at 130 now. That 10 miles an hour is not going to make a difference on how you prepare for this or if you decide to evacuate. Do not let that change how we've been talking about this. The intensity from the models has trended a little bit lower, but there's really not a difference when you're talking about um, a category 430 miles an hour or 140 miles an hour. The trend has been for it, yes, staying in Terrebonne Parish, moving up through here to the northwest, and then it will slow down a little bit as it makes that turn. Uh, here it is at 7 p.m. tomorrow, making landfall, 7 a.m. So in 12 hours, it goes from the coast all the way up to just north of Baton Rouge, and in 24 hours, it's up just to the, it's kind of in the Jackson area. So it's not going to move tremendously fast, but it is going to be moving. So we're talking all the significant impacts you expect from a Category 4. Storm surge, still 10 to 15 feet. Heavy rainfall, 10 to 15 inches. And winds could gust over 140 miles per hour near landfall. And I will say, New Orleans is on that dividing line of where either going to see really significant winds over 100 miles per hour or they're going to stay just to the west of the metro. Either way, I can't guarantee you either one of those scenarios happen. All it takes is for Ida to take a 20 mile, 20 miles jog to the east and you've got the worst winds coming into parts of the metro. So that's why we're pounding this message that this is going to be a significant storm. There's still just questions on how close to the highest winds get to New Orleans. Bayou parishes, it still does not look good for you. River parishes, it looks like you're going to get a big wind event, 100 mile per hour winds, and the big rainfall totals will continue. So overall, we haven't seen really any changes with this 10 a.m. update. Um, with regard to the timing and with regard to it being a major hurricane.